Good morning. So, um, yesterday I said I had some good news I wanted to share, and then I was like, no, I have haters. I don't want to share it. But I feel it is necessary to share it to help others have hope because for the last, um, I think we were going on seven months. I left a bad situation, April Fools. <laughs> and we've been living in a cheap motel for all that time. In one room, two teenagers, myself and my dog, I've talked about it in some other videos. But um, anyways, I kept praying, I kept meditating, I kept um, seeking guidance trying to have the attitude of gratitude to attract um, that happiness, that abundance into my life. So the news I want to share is I finally got approved for a house. So this is me excited. <laughs> and um, honestly, there were days I wanted to give up. There were days that it seemed inevitable that I was meant to fail. I would get stuck in my head and I would just go to journaling. I would play with my singing bowl. I would cleanse my crystals. I would burn my sage. I would say my prayers. And honestly, I even got to a point where I was like, when is it my time? when does something good happen and it seems like the day that I just said forget it I'm just gonna give in to the situation and I kind of sat down and I just felt numb I, I didn't care anymore and the miracle the blessing occurred so I'm sharing this in hopes that whatever you're going through in your life do not um, stop trying. Don't stop believing. Because what your heart truly desires, and when you put forth that effort to um, work in unison with something greater than yourself, which requires belief, you know, and practice, which brings me to discipline. <laughs> when you are disciplined in the way that you do things you'll see the the universe start giving you back and like i said i never would have thought i did it and i did it on my own which is something i never thought i'd do <laughs> and um i was reminded this is what you've been working for this is what you've been trying to achieve for yourself and your children. And I even told myself, I said, you know what? I'm going to work really hard to show my kids that you don't have to have somebody else next to you to succeed in life. And it's very empowering. It's um, awesome to get to show them that there's certain ways that we can practice in life to achieve things that are almost unimaginable, you know, that um, you just, I'm kind of in shock and disbelief. So I've said thank you so many times for the blessing that is being given to myself and my family because honestly, we were all at a breaking point. You know, it was um, cabin fever was setting in. <laughs> it was almost who's going to eat who first? Who's going to kill who first? Who's going to run away? You know, it just, we were really struggling. And I mean, at this point, my family doesn't speak to me. I don't speak to them. Um, which is a blessing in its own way. There's no more of the mental um, torture, I guess, trying to appease parents that can't really be appeased. So it's 
it was better for me to separate myself. And honestly, when I started making these choices to get rid of people that were toxic to my spirit, to my journey, sadly, a lot of them were family. And it was really hard to um, make that decision. But I started getting signs that I was making the right choices. And like I had said before, we even joined the gym and that was our way of getting out. And I had made a small video that said, um, get in your car and you could win a cruise, right? You can win by cruising is what I was meaning by that. And that night I broke down <laughs> and I went for a week without my car. I just got that out of the shop um, two days ago. But when it came down to it, I realized yesterday that um, sometimes we have to break down to get a new stride in life, you know, to readjust our thinking, um, re reconsider the action or the steps that we're taking every day. So you might feel like you're making all the right choices, but if you keep running into a brick wall you need to break down and don't let something stop you <laughs> like i i refused to sit down and the universe was like no no you're gonna sit down and at first i was like ah. and i knew not to say the why me I, I don't ask the why me just like i don't ask what else mm -mm. i i've learned you don't ever challenge the lesson that's trying to be shown to you instead when you can embrace it and kind of start working through your own brain your own habits your own belief systems you can begin to adjust things in a way that you can grow because like I've said several times, we were born into a toxic environment. We have all openly accepted toxicity and most of us has, have functioned out of um, toxic masculine or feminine energy. So when you're functioning on that level, it's actually um, making you a karmic individual. So you'll go around and you'll use people you'll manipulate people you'll lie this is like i said what we're born into and even a small white lie just to get something for yourself isn't the best way to go so when it boils down to it we've got to learn to be open and honest with the world about who we are and Honestly, we need to start sharing our blessings with one another, which is why I finally said, you know what? I don't fear those haters. Never have. I just got tired of having to protect myself and my family so much. It requires a lot of energy. So even where I'm at right now, um, the blessings are just flowing in and it's awesome, you know? We're getting to spend Thanksgiving as a family away from the motel in a condo on the water and I don't have to cook, <laughs> which is awesome. And my kids are getting to breathe. And as a parent, the one thing I've wanted for my children is for them to be happy, healthy, and wise. Even when I was pregnant with them, I would pray every single night, let them be happy, healthy, and wise. And then I started adding in all their appendages and let, let their body be right. You know, I started really hoping, praying that they would be perfect little human beings. And of course, they're not perfect by all means. None of us are, and nobody should want to be because perfection, it, it will make you feel insane. So, um, just that short little sharing what's going on in my life in hopes that it will help inspire you to keep on keeping on because I know it gets hard and I know a lot of people want to give up 
and we go up and down up and down right so don't give up and if you need help with meditating or guidance of any sort with certain spiritual practices to get you going reach out to me you know um like i said i opened a, a facebook channel so if you want to join that we can open up a thread that discusses different practices that can help you get into better alignment with your own life path your spiritual journey um things that can help change your life for the better so i'm here and if you don't want to go check out the facebook page you can just comment something down below and see what we can talk about so peace love and light and i will probably holler at y'all again later bye